Welcome to C News. I'm Nivetha Venkatesh and here are this week's top news. On 21st November Monday, a bright morning began as the mentoring and counselling services team Max drove away the Monday blues of the students of 1st MAMCS. Lord Archer was in town as he graced Christites in the main auditorium on the 22nd of November with his thought-provoking inspirational speech. A three-day beneficiary conference commencing from 22nd to 23rd that took place in the Skyview Central Block discussed primarily focusing on benchmarking procedures and practices for quality enhancement in higher education by IDAQ. Blossoms 2016 to 2017 was inaugurated by the School of Law, a flash mob packed with enthusiasm and vigor which refreshed the campus with a stellar performance put up by the students on the 23rd of November. Thrive, a two-day intercollegiate fest held on 23rd and 24th November, organized by the second-year management students, hosted a series of competitions like Best Manager Competition, HR Competition, Marketing and many more. Voices from the Waters, the 10th edition of the International Travelling Film Festival on Water, after travelling all across the world, finally arrived in Bangalore. It kick-started its inauguration in the Christ Junior College block, Quadrangle. Business Psychology in Action, a global summit which was a three-day conference from the 24th to 26th was a seminar which aims to foster better understanding of the dynamics of business psychology at the workplace. Christ University experienced one of the biggest intercollegiate fests, pushes, organized by the MBA Alumni Association and the Institute of Management from the 25th to 26th November. CUIZ, a quiz competition organized by the Student Welfare Office from the 25th to 26th November was a forum where the best of the best young minds were put to a test. The Mentoring and Counseling Services team, MAX, conducted an enriching session for the first MAMCA students in the early mornings of Monday, incorporating fun activities and interactive sessions to primarily imbibe the students about the importance of the university's core values. Professor Noel C. Jackson and the team effortlessly managed to drive away the Monday blues. The ever-interesting, inspirational, revolutionizing Jeffrey Archer graced his ardent readers in the main auditorium. He managed to stun the audience, awe them, make them laugh, touch them, proving that he isn't just a brilliant author, but also a brilliant orator. My show, not yours. After an interactive session of Q&A, Lord Archer stayed back to sign his fans' books and also stayed back for a few selfies, rightfully hence known as Lord Archer. Presided over by Dr. Anupama Nair, the Centre for Concept Design received several accolades regarding the new technological advancements which have been of immense help not only to the students but also to teachers who have made a sincere use of the facilities. Offering a new platform of teaching to improve the quality of education is the core ideal behind the conference. Which is called uh, Decibel, which is recorded here. And then we also have our media students doing the campus uh, news. Celebrating 10 successful years in the university, the School of Law had the honours of inaugurating Blossoms 2016 to 2017. A flash mob with much zeal broke out by the enthusiastic students of SLCU during the lunch break on 23rd. <laughs> the second year management students organized Thrive, an intra-collegiate fest which included competitions like marketing, finance, business planning, HR and the best manager competition. The 10th International Travelling Film Festival, a three-day film festival from the 24th to 26th in association with the Bangor Film Society, was inaugurated in the Christ Junior College block Quadrangle on the 23rd of November. The dignitaries presiding over the event were Mr. William Kleinert, who has had an employment with three acclaimed networks, is the producer and writer and director of six documentaries and over 600 commercials and dozens of other productions. Great Lakes are our freshwater inland ocean, uh, unique in the world in that respect. 
um, for their size and, and uh, volume. The Great Lakes contain 20%, think about this, the Great Lakes contain 20% of all the fresh surface water on the planet. Mr. George Kuti, Director of Voices from the Water, and Father Biju, the Coast Coordinator of MAMCs, were the others present. <music> Business Psychology in Action, the Global Summit, a three-day event conducted by Professor Stephen Benton from the University of Westminster, London, and Mr. Stuart Denson, CEO of Lumina Learning, from 24 to 26 in association with the psychology department, delegates from varied places attended this three-day master seminar. Why will the organization flourish? It will have problems to deal with because the quality of information it is working on and deploying will be degraded, just like that picture. Degraded in quality, degraded in value. The theme, Chakravyuha, was uniquely derived from the Mahabharata epic for Ushas 2016. The intercollegiate event inculcated vibrant themes from the epic, initiating the event in a very extravagant manner. The university saw itself beautifully decked up as the participants from various colleges walked into the university gates. Cash prices up to 4 lakhs were up for grabs in events such as lean operation system, HR, finance, general management, and many more. Events were packed with magnitudes of excitement and enthusiasm. Garuda, the best manager competition, was the most awaited event, which took place in the Kengeri campus. The dignitaries for the event were Mr. Jugnu Oberoi and Mahindra Devengra from the MBA Alumni Association. CUIZ, or QUIZ, the annual quiz competition organized by the Student Welfare Office, where in a total of five team quizzes, students from multiple departments battled it out in preliminary and final rounds. That's all for this week's edition of C News. See you next week. Thank you.